Okay, YouTube, this is an update on my experiment. Um, I ran, uh, again, the, I, the purpose behind the experiment was to see how long I could run my compact freezer, okay, plugged into my little portable uh, power generator that I, that I made. Um, and it has been 24 hours. I actually had it plugged in for 24 hours. And it, it did supply power. Right now, I started out uh, with the uh, beginning voltage at 13.7 volts. And I finished off, uh, I just got the uh, low power alarm uh, because the, um, uh, the shutoff, actually, for the inverter, the automatic low, uh, low voltage uh, disconnect. Uh, the alarm and the battery voltage now is at 11.19 or 11.19 volts. So that was the low voltage disconnect because uh, this particular freezer, you know, it takes some uh, some starting uh, wattage to start up, uh, so, you know, some starting voltage. Um, and this battery now does not have enough juice to start it up. So I got the when it starts up and when it tries, uh, I'll get the low voltage alarm. So I can say that for 24 hours, for 24 hours, this, pow this portable power unit did supply the juice necessary to keep my food, my food cold. Now, remember, I, as I said, I hedged my bets. I, you know, I, I know that this, you know, the compressor comes on and, you know, and, and it takes juice. Well, I had to hedge my bets to, you know, to see what, you know, what I could do to keep that compressor from coming on all the time. So again, I used those gel packs that I made uh, earlier and I put them in the, in the freezer. I had gel packs, uh, the freezer is, is full also, you know, of regular food, plus the gel packs, plus I had two uh, one gallon jugs of you know, ice, basically water that's frozen into ice, solid ice. So I kept the uh, inside temperature cool and by doing that, I was able to plug this little portable unit into the, uh, or have the freezer plugged into this portable unit for 24 hours, and it kept my food cold. I was in and out of it on, you know, just like I normally would, and it worked great. Okay, so I, you know, if for no one else, I proved to myself that this little portable unit will sustain a compact freezer. Now, this particular compact freezer, it's a, uh, I think I got it from Home Depot or Lowe's or something like that. It's a holiday freezer. Um, and as you can see, you know, it's, it's fairly new. It's, it's, it's a new freezer. I've only had it, you know, less, I've had it less than a year. Um, I believe less than a year. And, um, and you know, it's, it's, it's everything. It's, it seals nicely. It's, it's, uh, uh, it, it does a really, really good job. And, you know, and it worked. It actually worked. So, again, YouTube, for those folks that ask the question, uh, will this, you know, will a portable unit, a portable generator sustain a freezer, okay, for, you know, a, a, a good period of time, you know, your mileage may vary, obviously, because depending on what you've got in the freezer and how cold it, you know, how insulated it is, how sealed it is, and how often you enter the freezer, you know, those are things that uh, come into play. But uh, under, you know, during a power outage, uh, un during emergency situations, um, you know, you typically, you're not going to go in there every 15 minutes, okay? So you may go in there maybe, I don't know, two or three times a day, uh, if that. So the bottom line is this, it will indeed work. Now, to give you the you know the parameters of the um, of the experiment again we have a compact freezer okay just a, a compact freezer um, the settings um, initially I had it on four just to you know kind of you know freeze it it goes all the way up to seven so on four it you know makes everything really really cold and, and freezes them to, into solid blocks of ice okay for one thing and then I turned it to two. Okay, I went from four to two. Uh, again, uh, the maximum setting is seven. The little portable generator that I built it consists of a battery box that I bought from an auto parts store for about between eleven and fourteen bucks. 
um, the a cart, a dolly, a little small dolly that you can get from Costco for about 20 bucks. That well, that's how much it cost me at the time. An inverter uh, where I bought from an auto parts store. This is a 1200 watt uh, modified sine wave inverter, and it costs maybe around 60 or 70 bucks. Uh, again, it's 1200 watts. Um, let's see what else. I have a battery that I bought from Costco, a 115 amp hour deep cycle battery. It's a flooded type battery as opposed to AGM. Uh, and that costs about $89. Uh, and also I have a, again, a, a cheap PWM charge controller, solar charge controller. This is an Instapark, uh, or in, let's see... Yeah, Instapark, and it, I got off of I got it off of Amazon for about thirty bucks. Okay, um, and these are two terminals that I put on there so that I can rapid recharge. I can just put, uh, just connect a, a standard battery charger and uh, charge it. You know, make a do a rapid recharge on that. Just if I wanted to go that route, also. But anyway, um, I've for myself, I've proven it. And these little portable solar generators, they work great. Uh, for one thing, they're be I believe they're better than gas generators in a sense that I ran this thing for 24 hours. And the only time that the battery was ever taxed really was when the compact freezer requested the power or needed the power to turn on the compressor. If you run it, if you run this with a gas generator... Um, just note that, you know, regardless if the compressor turns on or not, okay, you're still burning gas. Uh, you're still burning gas. With this right here, it only, it only consumes power when necessary. So, for 24 hours, this served its purpose. Okay, YouTube, if you got any questions or comments and so forth, feel free to drop me a line. And I'll try to answer them the best, the best way I can. Take care, YouTube.